rock, 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 rock. I, I, what, doggy? Okay, I'll take the hat off. I know you don't like the hat. Okay, yeah, there we go. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energy. Stop chewing on the microphone cord, dear Muggsy. That gummit. Hey, you know, I went to the store today and I bought some groceries. I got up to the counter and the lady said, paper or plastic? <laughs> I said, I'm playing with cash. She said, no, no. You know, I figured, you know, dollar bills, you know, the fake monopoly money they give us or, or credit card. And she said, no, no, I I'm, I'm meant, I'm I'm at, do you want a paper bag or do you want a plastic bag? Uh, well, we could save a dinosaur and go with the paper bag, but if I came home with a paper bag, my flesh and blood bag at home would beat me senseless with a dadgum teddy bear. What, no comment? Yeah, I know she loves me. Anyway, I wouldn't trade her for anything in the world. Hey, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies, just trying to catch up with you and say howdy, howdy. Well, it used to be I had like 7,500 views a day, and then I had to leave the YouTube community to go ahead and make some money, and then all of a sudden, first of the year, the video views got, were put in half, and then I started putting out more videos, and and then the monetary, uh, I don't know what happened, but doggone, uh, the money went down, and now uh, I'm getting paid every three months instead of every month or every other month, and yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I don't, part of that's my fault for not putting out any videos. Well, a lot of strange things happened there. Uh, while working my butt off there, I wound up having uh, congestive heart failure where, oh, if I had to walk up my driveway, which is at an angle like about that, uh, and it was washed out, you know, can't get a truck and trailer up it. You get a truck up it if it's rear wheel drive. Front wheel drive would just spin out. So everything gets carried up the driveway, and if I go up the driveway, it took me three stops to get to the top without getting out of breath. And what that is, is I was drinking more water than I was expelling into the toilet, or to the tree, or the tire, or whatever. So, uh, basically being stubborn and thinking uh, maybe I had it figured out and knew what was going on, I didn't go to the hospital or a doctor because I didn't want to spend the money. Well, it got worse. Uh, I couldn't even sleep without fear of dying. So, look, if your legs are swelling, you're having a hard time breathing, and you can't even bend over to tie your shoes, guess what? That's not normal. Go see the doctor. First day, I pissed 20 uh, pounds worth of uh, fluid, and then 12, and then uh, basically took it down, and I was uh, actually getting back to normal. When I got out a week later, uh, what, $62,000 later? Yeah, <laughs> without insurance. Well, my ankles were skinny, and I could whoop a teenager's butt again. But I had to go back to work, of course, and I haven't done any videos for a while. In the meantime, I still tried to help somebody out, and I don't want to mention his name, Alex. And uh, I wound up stealing about $4,000 worth of my stuff along with uh, an Alvarez guitar electric uh, acoustic cutaway that uh, I basically did all my video uh, intros on. So anyway, with that, uh, i got to tell you, it's been a rough road, hadn't been around much, and YouTube's not paying much. So, anyway get right down to brass tacks the storage is the only things that didn't get stolen and oh yeah I'm in the pallet shed as you can see behind me over here uh, there's a bunk this is still the man cave and this is where I come down it's nice and cool and uh, hmm all in all this hasn't leaked since I built it and you saw the video that was what a year and a half two years ago Hasn't leaked, done me well. The light that you see coming in is ambient light coming through uh, the several layers of saran wrap that they wrap the pallets with. It's almost like an igloo cooler down here. It's over 100 degrees outside. As you can tell, I am not sweating. My energy still isn't what it should be, but uh, I can get out. I've mowed a few lawns. I haven't done much this year. The heat's been intense, and the humidity's up. So, But anyway, 
uh, getting back in touch with you. The uh, the shop, which is actually a storage facility. Uh, well, they're going to bulldoze that here at the end of the month. This is what? I uh, have to look down here. Whoop, put on my glasses. Sorry to waste the video, and I'm not going to edit. Look down here at the bottom. And it's July the 19th, so I got about 10 days or so before they bulldoze it to build another pallet palace, which should be my shop. And that's going to go up at the top of the driveway where it's flat up there at the top instead of down here in the shade. Uh, but I got eight foot pallets, so the assembly ought to be uh, a little quicker and they're just a little heavier, but uh, it'll go together a lot quicker. And that'll be the new shop won't be paying storage and I won't have to leave the property to go to work and make videos but I still have a lot of heavy things to get up the driveway here and get into the shop and being closer to the top of the driveway will be a lot a lot more feasible so that's what's going on here and um, yeah, he's just gonna have to call back I'm busy here He's got a knack for calling at the wrong time. Anyway, uh, so I'm down here, and uh, like I said, there's the bunk back there. I was sleeping there when I was getting robbed. Didn't know anything about it. Good thing they didn't get some of the good things here. I still have the wind turbines. The tower got stolen. But all the stuff down in the shop has got to get here and into a shop, and I got about 10 days to do so. At nighttime, I'm throwing papers. So, don't know... Uh, where I'm going to find the time other than in the morning when it's cool, if you can call it cool, is still 10 or 12 degrees hotter than room temperature out there and very humid. So I got a lot to do. Could use some help. Uh, if you want to help out, uh, one of the main things here is watch the commercials on the videos. I know it doesn't cost you much. The commercials are, none of them are over 30 seconds. And I know I said I'd never charge, and I'm not, but. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you watched the, the commercials. Put on a playlist when you walk away or something. You know, that'd be pretty cool. And just watch, let, let the computer watch itself. I'd be happy with that. You start clicking the ads and stuff, yeah, they figure you're clicking the ads because all the revenue doesn't come from one one person, and that's bull. Yeah, that doesn't help anybody, so don't do that. But if you want to watch the videos, that helps out was thinking about putting donations, but I'm not a man that says, hey, give me money. Not after that. Um, matter of fact, I've told people, don't give me money, because I might not get through with it. Got one in particular I really need to uh, get a prop to. Anyway, um, so anyway, uh, basically, i got a lot to do. I'm planning on coming back and doing the videos and everything. I'm not doing the lawn service this year. It's just too hot for me especially after being in the hospital and all that before. Things are a little better. I urinate quite a bit more now, and it's a pleasure to know that. And life is a little bit more valuable to me. So if your legs are swollen and you're short of breath, go see a doctor. It's just a simple thing of taking a few pills to take care of you and straighten you out. So it's not nothing really bad. At first I thought I had COPD and stuff, and who knows. But I did pray for a lot of things to uh, get straight, and I've seen them one by one all fall like dominoes and things coming out right. And I did, all my life I've tried to help people and do things for other people, and this time it bit me in the butt real hard. So, between the health and that, I'm trying to get back up on my feet and come out here and show you more videos. So if you've been wondering what Muddy's been up to, that's it. Many good things to you and yours. Keep smiling. Have a ball. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe. And don't be stupid.